What's up, y'all? Veteran Stacker here. So today I'm pitting four coins against each other to see what one's the best. And by the end of the video, I will choose one that I think is the best. That's, of course, that's only my opinion. But uh, let's get into it. Uh, today we're pitting the Liberties, Britannias, the Canadian Maples, and of course some Buffaloes. These are all, I don't think you could go wrong with any one of these coins. But for a while, you could have gone wrong with these. Because the Liberties were way overpriced. Like 100% markup on a premiums. Which is garbage. But price is coming down. So, so I thought I'd put it in here. And I guess we'll start with these. Um... Like I said, the Liberties, they're, uh, they're good coins. I guess they used to be a lot more popular before I got into stacking. And for a while, they were just, like, way too expensive. Not worth, definitely not worth the uh, price a lot of people paid for these. And for that, I think this one's getting last place. Alright, so we have... Three more coins left. We got the Britannia, Canadian Maple, and the Buffalo. These are all, I mean, these two are super beautiful coins. And, and the Buffalo, I guess we'll get the Buffalo out of the way. The Buffaloes are just, you get these for cheap as hell. Super awesome. So if you're all about getting that weight up, yo, the, the Buffaloes, you can't go wrong with the Buffaloes. These things are awesome. If you're stacking buffaloes, you're doing it right, honestly. Especially if you get them for just like a dollar over spot price. Buffaloes are awesome. I, I love buffaloes. And for that, I'm not sure what spot they're getting yet. So, so that leaves the uh, Canadian Maples and the Britannias up. Now, I will tell you, one of these are my favorite. And if the Britannias didn't milk spot so much, they would definitely be second place. But uh, if they're going to spot and look like garbage in a few years, they might as well be some buffaloes. But the Britannias are beautiful. This is the art, the, the, the workmanship on this coin is just it's beautiful you can't you can't deny the beauty of this coin yeah I got the new King Henry or King Charles coins but these are beautiful coins they have a they have some tamper proof seals right here where the lock turns into a trident the waves kind of change I don't know if you could see it on camera but it's pretty good security features here. And if they stayed like this without milk spotting, I think they'd be my favorite coin for sure. Maybe. Maybe. We'll, we'll talk about the old Canadian maples here in a second. But these are some beautiful coins. Canadian maples. The, I used to not think they were this beautiful. But honestly... They are, like, when you, when you rock it like that, you see the, uh, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you see the reflection going, like, clockwise and counterclockwise. Those tiny ridges in there are pretty awesome. And, you know, the normal back, but I'm going to be honest, I think the Canadian Maples are my favorite pick, especially if you're getting them at a good price. Uh, if these were all the same price, I would pick Canadian Maples. Since these are so cheap, I'll probably get more Buffaloes, honestly. But for a couple bucks more over spot, I think Canadian Maples are where it's at. And that's been what. So, why do I choose Canadian Maples over the Britannias? Is because Canada, I know what the heck they're doing. But anything after, I want to say 2021 or 2022, 
they they've done something to where it's not milk spotting like the Britannias. I guess these get bad, and I'll have to make another video of uh, when Britann Britannias start getting the milk spotting. But apparently these don't do it. And it's four nines fine silver. Which is awesome. Uh, the Canadian Maples have... <clears throat> I think they're awesome. And also, Canada is the only country that has a government-backed 10-ounce. And this 10-ounce bar is freaking beautiful, man. And, and they're at a pretty good price right now, I think. These things are pretty awesome. But, uh... God, look at that. The craftsmanship here is beautiful. Like, something as simple as a little maple leaf? They sure did make a good-ass coin. I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to go... Maple. Buffalo. Britannia. And the... The American Liberties are going to be last. And it sucks to say because I love America. But, yeah. This is... Canadian Maples are definitely the best in my opinion. And then goes Buffaloes. And then the Britannias. If they ever stop milk spotting, that might go up here. Or maybe right here. I don't know. But right now it's third place. And the... American Silver Eagles <clears throat> are getting last, even though the price came down. But, uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, been gone a few months, and I'm hoping to get my stack up a little more. So, hope everyone's having a good day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.